President Natal government is currently briefing the media on contingency plans ahead, of course, of the extreme weather condition forecast uh, for the province. Let's listen in. And, uh, you know, dedicated team, uh, you know, uh, from Guazulu Natal, and uh, there's a team from the Free State. Uh, but uh, we do not want to, uh, you know, uh, say much at this stage. Uh, you know, as communications, we want to uh, hand over to the MEC. Uh, for transport and human settlements uh, sponsored Duma uh, to address you. No, 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 thank you so much for affording us this opportunity. Let me greet your good self. Let us greet all the fourth estate who are here in numbers and they've been covering us almost all the time now, which is key and critical because you are also a pivotal stakeholder that we are encouraging that we proceed. I've already told that in our midst, we have chief director who is responsible in the province of KwaZulu Natal for ensuring that we have to dispatch our team. As you see, that on our right we've got a big crater which is on standby, and along those, almost all the machinery, the RTI team is here, the Sandral team is here, the Free State component is also here. So we are glad and delighted. We want to extend our greetings to journalists, radio and TV presenters, producers news readers and all our social media experts in the process, content creators. Importantly, we wish to greet viewers in various parts of the province and the country. This morning we issued a statement indicating that in view of today's grumpy weather, as you could even see right now, it's a little bit of windy. We decided to do a final test of our road safety plans before the snowfall. We continue to receive updates from SA Weather Services. Just after 12 o'clock, the SA Weather Services updated yellow level 4 warning and a new orange level 5 warning for disruptive snow valid for Monday. They signal out Western Cape and Northern Cape in particular. As transport, we continue to be guided by weather services. We pointed out this morning that we regard the large snowfall as extremely dangerous and fatal. We state this because it greases up the road which leads to road accidents. Our view is that South Africa drivers are not trained to drive in the snow, so the issue of traction of their tires are not at the component that will be comfortable that will just allow them to do as such. Our view is that we therefore urge motorists to reschedule or postpone their journeys in anticipation of any eventuality at this point in time. We reiterate our position that prevention is better than cure, and we want to be emphatic on that point that at this point in time, let us be emphatic that we want to prevent everything that might take place. Since this morning, I've been on the ground and interacting with our highly efficient team. I'm satisfied with the level of preparedness and commitment to serve the nation. At this stage, we wish to indicate that our plans are watertight. We are ready any weather pattern. My confidence is based on the fact that we have harmonized different plans involving the KZN Road Traffic Inspectorate, the entry toll concession, free state provincial traffic and national traffic police, as you might see as well on the left, that their vehicles are also on the ground. We are ready to ensure immediate assistance to standard motorists should it occur. As indicated, we will also ensure the diversion of traffic should the weather conditions deteriorate. At this stage, I wish to highlight the importance of visibility of traffic officers and post closers of the following routes. 1 N3 Fandrenen Pass to Tukela Plaza, 2 Tukela Plaza to Bergville, 3 N11 Bergville, interchange to Falkas, 4 Escort to Moy River Toll Plaza, 5 R617, that is Underberg Road to Howick, 7 R617, Swartberg to Kokstad, R74 Mutant Road, R33, which is Pomeroy to Dandy. Montrose to Fandrenen Village, Salt and Green application. We also wish to highlight the use of Salt and Green application at this point in time, which is amongst other key components that have been tried, which makes the snow to dissipate faster. This will be applied on the road as part of reducing the adhesion of snow and ice to road surfaces. Drivers of motor graders, transport infrastructure, unit drivers of motor graders. Another aspect that we wish to highlight is that the team from Transport Infrastructure Unit and our dedicated drivers of motor graders are already on the ground. 
the skills of our drivers of motor creators have been sharpened to respond with speed and a sense of agency. As they done excellently last week, they will remove any snow before accumulating on the road. And I'm sure we've harpered on that point that they've done a sterling job. Raiders and TLP are stationed in identify routes to ensure that our response is faster. I've inspected this yellow fleet and I'm made satisfied that it is going to ensure that we are standing almost all the tests that might arrive. Transport man activities that you might know at this stage. I wish to announce that on Tuesday we'll start the rollout of transport man activities. October is already here with us. We have a road safety campaign that will heighten awareness about our unprecedented program of action in response to climate change and adaptation. Throughout the month of October and beyond, we'll engage with our MACOSI, NGO, religious sectors, and other leaders, academia, and other key stakeholders. We'll target the transport sector in particular, logistics, port users, and retailers. In conclusion, we want to extend our appreciation to the acting CEO of Premier Soccer League. Miss Manto Matala called us last week and PSL chair to dive in Kosa and the entire board and management. They committed to work with us to ensure that safety of our soccer fans who will be coming to the province this weekend for the MTN final between Orlando Parrot and Stanley Bosch FC is a success. Our view is that this is not a simple soccer finance. It is the most engineering national gathering of the people of this country, which reached history that takes back to 1972. We want our roads to be safe for soccer fans, the media, sponsors and other road users scheduled to visit the province and we want to congratulate the box for a sterling job yesterday against Argentina. They are the champions and they are, con they are continuing raising our flag high. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, MEC. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was a statement from the MEC. Uh, I wonder if you have any question, um, you have the, the opportunity to ask to the MEC, um, but uh, if uh, there are no questions, then we'll move into the Nguni. Uh, Newsroom Africa. Confident, I will say at this point in time, we've done everything we could do humanly possible, which is why at this point in time, we've already highlighted that we are a joint force. So in our midst, we've got the team that comes from DOT in the province of KwaZulu-Natal. We've got ambulance services coming from the province of KwaZulu-Natal. From the Free State, we also have their team that is from here because we are in the adjacent border between KwaZulu Natal and Free State. So they will take almost everything that is critical. There is also RTMC, which comes from national. So it means all the stakeholders, all the teams are assembled here. I'm sure we are more than ready. And we, at this point in time, we've been proactive enough. So it means that almost all the mitigating factors have been addressed and we could just gladly tell you that yes, we are ready. You see almost all the teams because you on your right you see the graders. We have more numbers that are ready on standby should the need arise. Uh, any other question, uh, colleagues? Uh, no question. Uh, no, thank you very much, colleagues, for coming. Uh, we'll be here to answer any question and if you want any. A request for intervention as you are meta practitioners, practitioners uh, will assist you. Uh, will then uh, wish you well. All right, we're going to come out of those live visuals where the MEC for Transport in KwaZulu Natal, Boniso Duma, was briefing members of the media on their readiness ahead of the forecast severe weather conditions in that province. He urged uh, travelers to postpone their travel plans while the level warnings are currently in effect, especially because South African drivers are not used to driving in snowy conditions. He did say they have stationed the emergency personnel along with extra resources like graders to 
to mitigate against any eventuality and be on standby along the routes. He also assured us that uh, their response uh, time is best as possible under the conditions.